Ontology is the philosophical study of existence, of being, of what is. It's been around since Aristotle categorized reality into 10 fundamental types and features what all entities have in common and how they are divided into basic categories of being. Every time you use a taxonomy, a classification system, or even just language itself, you're engaging with ontology. It's the DNA of meaning making. Ontology generally deals with what is, as distinct from what is not. One might say that horses are, but mythical creatures like unicorns are not. One could argue that only fundamental particles truly exist, while macroscopic objects like mountains or oceans are merely convenient descriptions of particle arrangements, lacking independent existence. An ontology tells you what kinds of things you are committed to existing and not. If someone affirms the existence of X and we stipulate its existence implies the existence of Y, we can say this person is ontologically committed to the existence of X. Fast forward to the 17th century, Descartes drops his I think therefore I am, reshaping ontological thinking. Kant follows, arguing that our minds actively structure our reality. Philosophers like Quine and Kripke have pushed us to question our most basic ontological assumptions. Are numbers real? Do possible worlds exist? Developments in information technology and computer science have led to the creation of standardized ontologies and the use of ontologies in various fields, such as medicine and the semantic web. In today's day and age, ontologies gone digital. Tech giants use ontologies to structure knowledge graphs. AI researchers grapple with how to embed ontological understanding into machines. In social sciences, particularly sociology, researchers frequently discuss social facts, processes, objects, and constructions. Understanding the practical implications of these classifications is crucial for effective research and analysis in the field. Ontologies are sticky. Once you adopt one, it's hard to see the world any other way. It's like trying to unsee the arrow in the FedEx logo. So next time you're arguing about politics or love or whether a hot dog is a sandwich, remember, you're not just debating facts. You're clashing ontologies. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.